Hi everyone, it's still Wednesday the 1st of July and while I'm in the mood to make another video I thought I would show some of my Matchbox collection of particularly the ones I've done some restoration work on so for those that may not know I do collect a lot of die-cast cars not just Matchbox I've got, you've most likely seen it in the background of some videos and I've no doubt I've actually shown them on this channel I've got a shelf full of Corgi, I've got some Matchbox, I've got Hot Wheels, I've got all sorts of other brands as well. Anyway, I've always wanted to um, get some of my old ones restored, especially my Matchboxes. There is some Corgi and Majorette I want to uh, do as well, and I may actually have a look through those boxes later. Uh, but as I've, I'm just sort of starting out doing this, I thought I would start with the easier ones first, the ones that don't have transfers needed or where you have to grind the ends off the axles to get the wheels off. So that's exactly what I've done here, I've done the easiest ones so far out of my Matchbox. I've got a lot more easy ones as well, which I will uh, tackle at some point. But I thought, you know, just for practice purposes and whatnot, and because I'm using spray cans, because I haven't got a proper spray booth or spray gun as of yet, I plan to get that in the future so I can unfold it right here on the bench, which is just there, or even here, and, uh, you know, mix some paints up and get the colours even more exact on the ones that I do actually want to do a full-on proper restoration on. Uh, I plan to get that equipment probably during autumn. So when fall, autumn gets here, I'll buy that equipment. Anyway, I actually started some of these, I'm going to say about three months ago. It's about the second week of lockdown. I thought I'd uh, bite the bullet and get some done because I've been putting it off for ages. So I did this back row first. I can't remember which one I started with, I actually think it was the Ford Mustang here. So, the original one of these should be in white. I've already got one in white. It's a little bit rough, but I think it's worth leaving as it is. So I decided to go with one of my favourite colours, which is black. Sprayed that, we even detailed the lights in. Not brilliant, because that was probably the first car I ever tried to detail headlights in. And I actually did that with a very tiny brush. But I don't think I did too bad on that. And I've got this Mark II Ford Escort RS2000, which I've detailed the lights in as well. Again, not brilliant. This is probably the second car I uh, attempted that on. I've got another three of these in my collection. <coughs> and these... Um, should be white originally with um, Ford stickers and things all over them but I decided to do a custom blue on this one I quite like how that one turned out I quite like red so I might do one in red but I want to do at least one of those other escorts as a full-on proper restoration with all the stickers replaced and whatnot right moving on another two Fords Matchbox liked to do their fours. It was not intentional. These were just ones that I picked up that I wanted to get done first. So here's, I think, it's a Mark III Cortina. I did in red. Its original colour was red, but nowhere near this shade. It was just the only red I had when I was uh, doing this one. Should be a lot, lot darker than that. More of a metallic. And I've got another one here, which is exactly the same, but in gold. Not quite the original shade of gold, but again, as close as I had. So I've kept it in the same colour bracket, just a different shade of it. Same with the uh, Rolls Royce here. Um, the cr plastic chrome front was a bit worn, so I've gone over that with a, a, a silver paint pen, which was here somewhere, it's disappeared again. Probably chucked over there somewhere out of the way. 
Well, that's come out quite nice. There's a bit of a blemish on this fender here because uh, I messed up the paintwork and really did not feel like I'm um, stripping it down again. Next, we've got this lovely looking AMX Javelin in red, which was its original colour, and to be honest, that show of red's not far off from its original colour. Is missing the tow hook, that was already broken off. I've got two more of these in green, and I'm sure I had a blue one somewhere, but I can't find it. Um, I'd like to do at least one of the green ones back to its green, but where I get my spray cans from, they have nothing even close to that shade of green, so that may have to wait until I can mix paints. And the last one that I did a couple of months ago is this Volvo, which I'm going to redo because I really am not happy with that one. The paintwork itself took me about four attempts of stripping the paint off and starting again. And I've still missed bits and I've got chip down there as well. I'm not happy with how the wheels came out. So I used my gold paint pen on those just to be different. And the headlights are actually not as bad as I thought they were when I touched those up. I thought they were worse than that. But to make things even worse, I broke the rear window. I had to glue it back together, but it shows really badly. So that one's going to get redone at some point. I just need to find a couple more scruffy Volvos to, um, well, either restore. I'll either restore another scruffy, scruffy Volvo and use that one for parts, or use the parts from another one on there. <coughs> uh, excuse me for a moment. I'm going to pause the camera because I want to go and get a drink. I've got a scratchy throat. Right, I'm back with me drink. So, these ones are what I've done over the past week or so. In, they're not lined up in any particular order or anything. In fact, these two, I, well, I finished this one this morning and that one yesterday, which I've been working on since Sunday because that was one that just did not want to play ball. Anyway, I'm going to start with the end closest to me. So I've got a Mark 1 for transit truck. I'm a bit pissed off because I've noticed a little chip right there. And the disadvantage with using spray cans is you haven't got a little pot or anything just to dip a brush in just to touch that in. I did dab a couple of silver dots on the headlights just to highlight them. It's a a little bit lighter than the original orange. It's a bit difficult when all you've got to go by is the colour of the cap and that's never an exact match for what the paint actually is. Well it came out quite nice. I just need to get the um, palettes that go on the back there. There's some boxes or something that go on the back. Um, which you can actually buy. There is a website and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But um, they do sell a bunch of spares for a lot of matchbox cars, especially for this sort of era. So, move on to the, I think, it's a Ford Gritter truck, which is back into its original red and yellow colour. Don't like those wheels. I might have to pry that base off of there and change those wheels. Um, or I could just go over them with some black paint and redo the centre caps. Because I tried to do the centres chrome and it went a bit wide because I made a mistake. Slipped with me a uh, paint pen. I thought I'd just go a little bit wide. It doesn't look too bad but I just don't like them. I don't know. I might just leave it as it is yet. That's uh, debatable <laughs> or questionable what I'm going to do with that. I don't know. I think I'm just shooting random words out there now. Sometimes I think the brain could use a reset button. Anywho, the next one I did was this Ferrari Berlinetta, which was actually in my scrap box for some reason. It was missing the front pair of wheels, so I had to find a pair of wheels. And I have actually coloured the proper... That's what the wheels on them trucks are supposed to look like. On that gritter truck, sorry. Or just the centre bits painted chrome. I also went over the bumpers and just chromed those with my pen. But uh, it was red originally. 
I don't think it's actually far off from the original red. It does look quite nice, I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, unlike a lot of the restorers online I watch where they drill out the rivet post and put a screw in, I'm actually gluing mine because again I actually haven't got the, uh, the tap and die that I need or a drill bit or anything like that. I really could do with a small hand vise that I can put on here to put these in. That will make life a lot easier as well. Uh, so I've still got quite a bit of equipment I want to invest in because I've got hundreds of cars in my collection that I could do this with. Anyway, next up two little Austin 1100s. Now this one I've done a custom paint job on and by that I mean I picked a colour for it. That's not the original colour at all. It was blue originally but nowhere near that shade of blue. <laughs> and again is what the wheels are meant to look like. I just polished up the base a bit with a wire brush attachment in my rotary tool which I need to invest in some more of because uh, <laughs> they tend to lose bristles. Look at that, you can see it's all very thin down on this end. And then it throws the Dremel off balance and you can hear it when it's spinning. So I do need to order a whole bunch of those. Hopefully I can do that tonight. Anyway, Here's another one, in the original green, well I say original gr green, it's as close to the original green as I could get. I'm missing the tow hook because it broke, so I just removed what was left. And I've actually gone over the front there with my silver pen and over the hubs, because I do like that effect with the hubs. So it's kind of a full on restoration apart from the tow hook. But I've got another two of these. One of them is actually in green as well, so I'll do the other one as a straight up restoration. So I won't chrome any of the metal work and I'll, work and I'll make sure it's got the tow hook on it. So next one up is actually one of my favourites. I got this at car boot sale last year. It's a Pontiac GP... Hang on a minute, I keep forgetting. It's quite a long name on this one. Pontiac GP Sport Coupe. I did like that one as soon as I bought it. It was in purple originally, but again, not quite that shade or metallic. It was just a purple colour. And someone, I would have left it as it was if someone hadn't put blue paint on the bonnet and red on the roof. But uh, I was in my local Wilco's and I saw this shade of purple and I just thought, I know exactly what car that's got to go on. And I'm glad I picked it for that. And again, I've left the wheels as they were. I didn't think they needed it. They're in pretty good nick, so they got left. And another one of my favourites. The Mark II Ford Cortina. Not too far off from the original shade of blue. It's about as close as I could get with spray cans. You know what I need to get? I need to get one of them rotating table things. But, uh, actually the doors were a completely different shade of blue on this because I stole them from another Cortina which had a, a damaged shell. So I made a good one out of the two. And again I've just given the base a polish up and that is it. Simple straight up restoration on that one. Like most of these really, just take them apart. Strip the old paint off, clean them all up, clean the interior and the windows and put them back together again. Now this one I did finish this morning. These wheels still aren't quite dry but I have gone over them with some black paint just to freshen them up. And I was going to paint the centres silver but I actually went against that because I actually like them in black on this. It was blue originally but again way off. <laughs> The original blue was actually a lot darker than this. And I did, I think I did a very good job on this one. I'm getting better. Look, I've chromed the headlights in on this one and the front bumper. And that actually looks quite nice. I want to leave the, um, I'm going to leave the wheels as they are because I think it looks nice with black wheels. So that's like a, what they call it, a Resto Plus. Yeah. YouTubers that I watch that restore these, that's what they call that. Oh. 
my base didn't stick. I did put some glue on there, but that hasn't stuck. It's stuck at the front, but not the back. So this one was a complete pain in my ass to do. In fact, I had four of these originally, now I've only got one. <laughs> one of them, or well, the original shell for this base, was completely wrecked. In fact, have I still got it over here? They are here somewhere. The original shell for this was sitting here, but I think I it is. Right. There's the original shell. Not on its base. We can see why I changed it. But uh, I did have a different shell on this one. It wasn't this. This was on a complete car I was going to restore back to a, its original purple colour. But several things happened along the way. One, the original replacement shell broke. Even though I kept trying to glue it, I just couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do, so I got pissed off with it. And I also broke one of the windows, one of the spare good windows I had. So I had to go and steal it from the good one of these anyway, and I thought I might as well just use the shell and put it on this chassis. Because I wanted one with these wheels. So that's exactly what I've done. And it took several attempts with the paint. At least one of those was a mess up on my part anyway. So, But uh, it's come out nice now. I'm actually happy with that. As you can see, it's not quite the same shade of red. I think I should have perhaps used that one, but I want it to be a bit different anyway, because I've got a lot in this shade of red. See, I've got another one there, again, with a busted shell. So I've actually got three spare chassis, two spare interiors. And that one's actually got a set of wheels on it as well. So I want to do one with this set of wheels, the super fast wheels as well, but... It ended up being a choice with that base, or this base with these wheels on, and I opted for that one. Mainly because I do not have many Matchbox cars with that style of wheel on. So that's why that one got chosen. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for some more of those, because I do like these Volkswagen castings. I would love to get one, so I can perhaps use this chassis. Got some rust on my wheel actually, but I'll clean up. So that is it, at least up to date anyway. I do plan to do another one today. I haven't actually picked what I want to do yet. I might actually go and pick a majorette to be honest. Go through my box of majorettes and uh, see if I can pick a few out of there because I've done all matchboxes so far and I think I've done enough. In fact, I'm running out of room because I store them up. No. I'm not going to move that because it's all uh, set in that position. I'll make horrible creaky noises. But yeah, on the windows that are just there, on the little ledge, that's where I've been putting all these and I've actually run out of space. Because I've got a dozen or so up there that my stepdad did for me when he was doing such things for something to do about a year ago now. And again, they're all matchboxes apart from one. One majorette. <laughs> Citroen Diane van. I've got a blue one of those. I wouldn't mind painting that back to blue. It's one advantage about having duplicates in a collection. You can make them not duplicates by painting them a different colour. <clears throat> I can't remember what the colour of that white one was originally. I think it was a cream colour. If you're wondering what I'm using to get the paint off with, it's Paint Stripper. A very potent one. I tried going into the local DIY store and buying like some of that Bird brand or whatever it is. Paint Stripper. But it's very weak. It will get the paint off eventually. Actually, some of the cars it just wouldn't even touch. I had one that I left in it for days and it just wouldn't touch the paint. Um, and then my stepdad went and bought a big 
I think it's something like a five litre bottle of it from Amazon of this basically industrial strength paint strip. He bought it for the mini project. I don't think he actually used any on the mini, to be honest. But that's what he bought it for. And trust me, it's potent. Within seconds of putting it on the paint, the paints will start to bubble and peel. Don't get it on your skin, because it will burn. I know that from experience. It does burn. Um, and yes, I was wearing gloves at the time, but I actually accidentally splashed it up my arm. Up here. <laughs> So, because I wear short sleeves and I wear shirts all the time. Probably better idea to wear long sleeves when you're handling that shit. And uh, don't use disposable gloves. Use proper rubber gloves that you would use for cleaning and whatnot. Because I use pr um, the little disposable latex gloves and... No, it, 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 that stuff eats straight through those. So I've got a couple of pairs of rubber gloves in the kitchen that I use for that as well and a specific plastic pot that I put it in. And I've got it in uh, a pl uh, plastic jar, a glass jar at the minute. I dare not put it in a plastic tub because it'll probably eat through it. In fact, it's eaten through one of the brushes I used to apply it to the cars with. Although I've got another uh, um, better method now, I actually dunk the shells straight into the jar gets a much better even coat everywhere it's a bit more wasteful with the stuff but uh, I do want to get myself a big jar or a big pot of that bottle of it I don't know what you'd call it to be honest bottle I suppose what is wrong with my brain tonight tonight this afternoon heck I've just fast forwarded time <clears throat> I think on that note, I'm going to end the video before I uh, go completely bananas, it seems. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's something different, at least. I don't really talk about my diecast collection that much. Um, I have actually got a YouTube channel for my diecast, but I've not uploaded anything to it yet. I don't know if I... Uh, will or if I'll just stick to having these on the main channel that's there if I ever want to use it I suppose or I could just rename it and use it for something else now I'm just rambling so thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you again soon bye